In the vast and wild heart of Oregon, nestled among the towering mountains and dense forests, lies Sparks Lake, a serene yet haunting backdrop for one of the most mystifying disappearances in Oregon State's history. It was here, in the autumn of 1969, that Robert Winters, a 78-year-old avid hunter, vanished without a trace. Robert, accompanied by his sons, had ventured into this well-known hunting ground, a place they had returned to year after year, drawn by the promise of solitude and the thrill of the hunt. This particular trip, however, would tell a narrative far removed from their annual expeditions. As the leaves turned and the chill of fall began to settle over the landscape, Robert set out with his rifle and his knowledge of the wild, embarking on what was supposed to be a day like any other in the great Oregon outdoors. But as the hours ticked by and night began to fall, it became clear that something had gone profoundly wrong. Robert did not return to camp, igniting the onset of a search that would span seasons and capture the attention of locals and beyond. The mystique of Sparks Lake, with its panoramic views and rugged terrain, transformed from a scenic hunting locale to the center of an enduring puzzle. Situated between the imposing silhouettes of Broken Top Mountain and Mount Bachelor, the area's natural beauty belies the harsh and unpredictable nature of the wilderness. It's a place where elements converge, landscapes clash, and beauty mingles with danger, setting a dramatic stage for Robert's inexplicable disappearance. The incident opens a gateway into a mystery that remains unsolved, weaving a tale of man versus nature, of sudden silence amidst the whispers of the wild. The story of Robert Winters is not just a recounting of a man lost. It's a narrative steeped in the mysterious allure of the natural world, a reminder of its untamed and unscrutable character. The Winters family tradition was not just a series of annual hunting trips, it was a legacy, a ritual that bound Robert and his sons, Charles, George, and Alvin, together with the threads of anticipation and shared adventure. For over two decades, these expeditions had been a constant, a time for reconnecting with both nature and each other in the rugged heartland of Oregon. The familiarity of Robert and his sons with the area around Sparks Lake was profound. The trails, the best spots for camping, and where the game was likely to roam were all knowledge passed down and honed over years of experience. This deep understanding of the landscape makes Robert's disappearance all the more baffling. How could a man so in tune with the wilderness, so aware of its dangers, simply vanish without a trace? The very familiarity that should have safeguarded Robert seemed to betray him, as the wilderness he knew so well cloaked its secrets tightly, leaving no trace of his fate. The landscape of Sparks Lake, beloved and well-trodden by the Winters family, transformed from a setting of yearly reunions into the backdrop of an unfathomable mystery. On the crisp morning of October 8, 1969, the Winters family camp was alive with the routine bustle of preparation. It was a day like many others they had seen before, a moment suspended in the chill of autumn, teetering on the cusp of another hunting adventure. Robert, with the ease of someone embarking on a familiar journey, set off from the camp, rifle in hand, a casual farewell hanging in the air. It was a normal departure, set among the sprawling beauty of Oregon's wilderness. The sky overhead was a vast expanse of clarity, but the air carried a whisper of change, hinting at the weather's fickle nature. As the day unfolded, the sun traced its arc across the sky, unmarred by the clouds that would later gather. Robert's absence, as first noted without concern, grew heavy with significance in the hours that waned. The routine expectation of his return by dusk morphed into a growing unease. The light faded, painting a shadow deeper into the forest, and Robert did not emerge from the embrace of the wilderness. The family's initial concerns were amplified as darkness fell upon the camp, and a silence, thick with worry, settled over them. Nature seemed to respond in kind as the first signs of heavy snowfall began to accumulate, whispering through the trees and blanketing the ground in a swift, cold shroud. This unexpected weather transformation added a layer of urgency to their worry. The benign environment they had welcomed in the morning had turned treacherous, complicating any efforts to search for Robert. The night passed with no sign of him, the family's anxiety mounting against the backdrop of an increasingly impenetrable wilderness. 
the serene setting of their annual hunting trips had, within mere hours, spiraled into the stage of a perplexing mystery, a loved one lost to the forest, with nature cloaking his steps in snow and silence. As concern for Robert Winters turned into tangible fear under the cloak of night, his family wasted no time in reaching out for help. The authorities were notified, ushering in the commencement of a search and rescue operation that would soon swell in scale and intensity. The family's call for assistance echoed across the community, rallying a collective effort to uncover Robert's whereabouts. Yet, as volunteers and officials mobilized, the weather emerged as an unforeseen adversary. The snow, which had begun as a whisper in the darkness, grew into a relentless storm, laying down a thick blanket that obscured tracks and transformed the landscape into a monochrome maze. The worsening conditions threatened visibility and accessibility, presenting a daunting obstacle to the rescuers' endeavors. In response to the urgency of the situation, the search efforts expanded rapidly. A diverse assembly of search parties took to the ground, each step forward a defiance against the snow's silence. Tracking dogs, with their keen senses, were enlisted in the hope that they might succeed where human eyes had failed. Helicopters were also called into service as they buzzed overhead, their pilots peering down through the wintry veil in search of any sign of Robert. It was from one of these aerial vantage points that a glimmer of hope emerged, tracks spotted near Soda Creek, a silent testament to Robert's passage. However, this discovery was far from a resolution. The tracks, though a tangible clue, led the searchers through a challenging terrain that had tested both their resolve and their resources. The area around Soda Creek, rugged and untamed, became the focal point of an intensified search. Yet, as the rescuers navigated the harsh landscape, the mystery only deepened. The tracks, a fragile thread in the vast tapestry of the wilderness, eventually faded, leaving no further sign of Robert's fate. Despite the dedication of those involved, their efforts of the search was met with more questions than answers. The mystery of Robert's disappearance, compounded by the very nature that he had so loved. Robert Winter's disappearance took a turn toward the profound when, in the warmth of the following summer, a hiker stumbled upon a clue that had eluded the searchers through the cold months. Dr. Jack Crosby, exploring near Soda Creek just beneath the line where the trees give way to the sky, found objects silently resting on the ground. These were no ordinary items. They belonged to Robert, the man who had vanished into the whispering wilderness. Among the discoveries were Robert's hunting gear, glasses, and a piece of clothing, each item a silent sentinel of his last known moments. Strikingly, amidst the belongings that spoke of a life once lived, there was a palpable absence. Robert himself remained missing, with no trace of his physical presence to be found. The Sheriff's Department promptly responded, conducting a thorough examination of the site where Dr. Crosby made his find. What they encountered only deepened the mystery. The condition of the clothing, laid out as if to mark the end of a journey never completed, was perplexing. There was no disarray, no signs of a violent struggle or attack from an animal. Instead, the garments appeared to have been removed with deliberation, placed beside Robert's rifle, which leaned against a tree as if standing guard. Deputies Mel Newhouse and Norman Thrasher, tasked with investigating this curious scene, found themselves confounded by the evidence before them. The lack of any remains, coupled with the orderly condition of Robert's belongings, painted a picture that defied simple explanation. It was as if the wilderness itself had chosen to keep its secrets, swallowing any trace of Robert Winters, but leaving behind these few silent witnesses. The discovery of the belongings raised more questions than answers, leaving the sheriff's department and the Winters family grappling with the undiminished mystery of Robert's fate. In the wake of Robert Winter's disappearance, a number of theories and speculations began to weave itself through the community and beyond. People pondered over dinner tables and in quiet corners of coffee shops, each theory attempting to pierce the veil of the mystery that the wilderness had drawn around Robert's fate. Some poised that Robert had succumbed to the harsh environmental conditions, perhaps losing his way in the sudden snowstorm that had blanketed the area. Others whispered of wildlife encounters, imagining a silent predator that might have crossed paths with him. 
Yet for all the speculation, Robert's deep familiarity with the terrain stood as a stark counterpoint to these theories of a simple misstep or a loss of direction. This was a man who had walked these woods for over two decades, who knew the land as one knows the lines of their own hand. Such experience cast a long shadow of doubt over the simpler explanations, suggesting that whatever happened to Robert was far from ordinary. The continued mystery, underscored by the absence of any conclusive evidence or remains, left a lasting imprint on the family and the community. The discovery of Robert's belongings had offered a brief flicker of hope, a potential path to closure that quickly extinguished as the search revealed no more. The questions that lingered in the wake of the search party's departure were not just about how or why Robert disappeared. They touched on the very nature of the wilderness itself, on the secrets it keeps, and on the thin veil that separates the known from the unknowable. For the winner's family, the unresolved case was a wound that time struggled to heal. For the community, it was a haunting reminder of the wilderness's indomitable will, a story to be told in hushed tones as a testament to the mysteries that lay in the heart of the forest. Theories and speculations continue to swirl, each as elusive as the last, leaving the mystery of Robert Winter's disappearance to linger in the air like the mist that rolls off Spark Lake at dawn. The disappearance of Robert Winters left a lasting impact on his family and on the hunting community, embodying the unpredictable nature of the wilderness. Marked as one of Central Oregon's most extensive search operations, the case remains part of the local lore, unresolved and haunting. Despite the passage of time, the mystery continues to capture the imagination of locals and enthusiasts alike, fueling ongoing speculation and discussion. Robert's story serves as a reminder of the wild depths and the enduring human quest for answers in the face of nature's puzzles.